but the main purpose of this spacecraft will be to carry astronauts beyond our orbit to other worlds. This will be the first spacecraft of its kind since the Apollo Command module. Our third goal is to return to the moon by 2020 as the launching point for missions beyond. Beginning no later than 2008, we will send a series of robotic... Hey guys, it's Matt. Uh, the Benny Hill face I scammed from the Tell Me What You Love channel. All run together, Tell Me What You Love channel. I hope I have that right. A lot of funny videos mocking the space program. And it's funny, I kind of saw, I'll, I'll kind of tell you why I even showed you that in a moment. It's not related to anything that George Bush said. I found the Benny Hill face, and I wanted to show you a picture in picture. So I pulled any old image I kind of came across George Bush talking. I'm like, this will work. Pulled it in, and I didn't even know what he was talking about. I'd forgotten. It was an old clip that I had on my computer. He's talking about the space program and vehicles that are going to be produced by 2010, 2012, or 2014. Colonization of Mars, of course, would all be done by 2020. Every president promise, has promised this, going back pretty much through Nixon, um, but definitely st started up big time with uh, Bill Clinton. According to what they promised, I mean, we should. there should already be a, a colony on, on, on the moon for 10 years. Pretty much Venusville and, and uh, the, the Total Recall Mars colony should exist on Mars, you know, Schwarzenegger, get your ass to Mars, get your ass to Mars. I'm here to see Melina. It should all be there. But but every president comes and now Trump and his space force and everybody just, oh, it makes sense. We're going to have vehicles in the future. And every president promises vehicles in the future. The point is, it's funny. I just, I didn't, um, the Tell Me What You Love channel is about mocking space. And that's the clip I pulled. And that's where I got the Benny Hill. Anyway, it's not that interesting, is it? But the point is, it's nothing that George Bush said is what this video is about. I just wanted to show you a picture in picture. Just put that in, in your mind. Somebody speaking and then a box coming up with something else. Um, I'm going to bring that in later for some visual imagery in what I'm going to talk about. Um, not that you guys didn't know what picture in picture was, but just wanted to show it to you for what I'm going to talk about. Um, what am I going to talk about? Just one thing to speak about before I get into the reason I'm making this video or the heart of the video uh, regarding these communities, which I think are a great idea, but I, I might not have been very clear in a video or two or three back when I talked about these communities. Um, I will, if somebody's going to do something or organize something, like people are telling me now Owen Benjamin is doing something called Bertaria, I'll bring it to your attention. But that's all I can do at this point. I'm not organizing any community. I can't be involved in ideas. I just This is where my skill set is and where my fight is at this time. As long as this YouTube channel remains, if they take me down, I probably will pop up on another platform. Quantumofconscience.com will have a, a message saying, here's what I plan to do. All I can do at this point is just uh, bring these things to your attention. So people had emailed me and said, Matt, check this out, or let me run these plans by you. I have no time for that. If somebody on their own initiative is saying, I'm doing this, and we're going to even even 20 people were in, in uh, a certain part of New Hampshire or Maine, or we're going to get we're going to get 20 people. We hope to get 40, 50 like minded people living together. I'll bring it to your attention. Anything that some that seems legitimate, but I can't I just I'm not going to be involved in it at this point. I would love to, when I can get out of my responsibilities here, absolutely go live in one of these communities because the world is devolving into the dystopian, insane place. And it doesn't it doesn't seem like from the way the masses are going along with what I call the download and the, the bizarre behavior in which they act, it, it, it doesn't seem like we're going to be able to break the trajectory. It doesn't seem that way. I certainly hope we can. I hope they make a mistake. Things can change. But the way it looks now, um, you know, and even if you have major responsibilities, kids that, you know, five years need to graduate high school, college, you should be thinking the way that trajectory is going, that five, six, seven, eight years from now, myself, my, my spouse, my, that's somebody speaking, I don't have a spouse or I have cats, that we're going to go join one of these communities. It might take, um, it might take 10 years to get everybody in place. 
and it would take hopefully what, what I've what I've mentioned is uh, again I would love to be more involved I just can't I just can't this is where my skill set is right now and where my, my best contribution to this fight in terms of what I'm doing now um, but if somebody brings me an idea uh, or they're doing something I'll share it with you and I hope again somebody steps up and, and says I'm willing to I'm a, a web designer very skilled somebody says I'm willing to basically put after the 30 to 40 hours it would take to get going willing to put in five hours a week um, where we track different communities popping up all, all over the world over a five-year period and here's where they are on the map here's where they are in, in each state here's where they are in each country here's who to contact um, here's how to get there because you certainly won't be able to fly there without the vax so uh, hey you know here's here's a you you know Matt and other truthers on the on their trail of tears trying to make it out to these communities um, you can hitch rides uh, in the cargo hold of uh, the China Ocean Shipping Company and remember when Danny Glover what is it Le Le Lethal Weapon 15 or whatever where Danny Glover the, um, rescues the the Chinese immigrant family coming in in the cargo hold of the uh, was it the Alba Varden was the um, was the ship I think was the name how'd that come to me but um, we can take that ship back or, or we can take that we can we can we can ride in Yen's cargo hold out of the United States to one of these communities or maybe hopefully we'll cause such problems for the powers that be they might just give us a free pass just let us go you know just, just walk the trail of tears and just let us go hopefully we'd like to leave please let us go but guys this will all these ideas about communities um, it'll evolve it'll evolve it, it, it you know it will evolve over the next few years and again um, the first few videos back somebody said Martin Leakey if I'm getting that name right he's doing something Owen Benjamin is doing something and I'll just hopefully every few videos I'll tell you about somebody doing something until we get a centralized place or a centralized website or two where people are tracking these all over the world all over in each state how to contact the person organizing what the situation is somebody's farm somebody's branch Davidian <laughs> compound um, I, guys I don't I don't I don't believe um, I don't mean to stray but I don't believe that story is even real um, I think I think a lot of those stories are to dissuade people from going to live together the Jim Jones Kool-Aid and stuff. I don't believe it. I really don't. I mean that this reality is that big of a trickster. There's very little like that that would make the cover of uh, Time magazine, for example, that I that I believe. So let me just get right into the heart of this video, and um, I'm gonna basically call out a truth, or you all know. And um, I don't know how interested the system will be in, in me talking about this uh, his channel was taken down recently um, I don't know how much I can say honestly I don't want it to affect this channel but this has to be said I'm not trying to pick on anybody this is just a greater lesson in truth a lesson on what we need to do for ourselves and what a lesson on what not to do let's assuming it's even real so the person taken down his name is Max okay most of you know who I'm talking about. Channel name uh, relates to a bird, crow, but not with the seven. It's not that's that's it's not that channel. Okay, that 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 channel is very interesting to me. I haven't watched it for a year or so, but it but it's it's very interesting to me. I would like more people in the truth community to show their identity and, and reveal themselves, but that's neither here nor there. So let's just call him Max. Um, just to, let me just get right into the heart of the matter. I'm not sure how to lead into this. And to me, there's either there's two things going on. Either this w person was never on our side, it was always a very high level farm, as we've talked about, maybe, or they need to learn some lessons. They're just they don't they they don't they're not doing the right thing. They're hurting our cause. And somebody doing this as long as they've been doing it, you would think would have a degree of wisdom someone that can talk as eloquently as he does should have a degree of wisdom about what to do and what not to do so when I see what was done I'm very skeptical of it 
the very minimum that person shouldn't be upset at what I'm saying because it's very easy to demonstrate now they absolutely went about things in the absolute wrong way and fed the beast the energy it wants did exactly what it wants how do you study truth for your whole life and just feed it exactly what it wants that's why that's why I'm very skeptical of course so let me just get right, right into the imagery remember that picture in picture I showed you coming in Benny Hill was like or whatever with George Bush talking about the space vehicles and we should already have um, you know Venusville and Tony should be taking you through the back the back quarters of Venusville to escape Cohan Cohagen Cohagen on Mars that should all be up there by now so I showed you that picture in picture and just to get you'll, you'll see in a second how this will hit you real real people in the truth pursuit along the right path this will just hit you as just you'll, you'll see where I'm going I'm not getting it out right um, let, well, let me back up and say what took down if you search the, his name or the name of the channel and then put in a YouTube box channel removed there are other channels that hosted his rant all right I should have mentioned this because I'm so, assuming you know most of you guys probably haven't seen it um, he comes out he's very upset about the situation and he's calling out certain Australian officials but just with the names like the worst names that f women hate I mean just this this Australian official is a rah! this Australian official is a rah! I mean just you know F the, the person is a C and the, the ah, just nasty venom is coming out all right and to a degree do we all feel to a degree or have we all felt that way at times about the control structure yes but it's first grade truth to let that come out so I, I linked to Vanessa VA's channel um, in the last video I believe and you might have seen her video or, or watched a few of her videos where she's this is what what should be done the way it should be done talking about there's two ways to go in this whole reality there's two ways you're an emotional energy factory a real spirited and sold human being you listening to this not too many NPCs tuning into quantum of conscience getting that notification that ain't gonna happen you so anybody listening to this is a real spirited soul indiv individual and you are an energy factory of course somebody always has to call me nobody ever calls me an energy factory so you have two two different two ways of energy you can put out it all relates back to what Vanessa was talking about fear and love and the others are just stem from one of those two stem from one of those two tributaries what about anger stems from fear so there's a lot of negative ones but they all stem from fear or love and Vanessa's talking about a very calm way there's, there's two ways to put your energy out into this ether out to all the this, this to the collectors all over the screen where whatever dementor creature can feed from it fear or love so even if uh, that's news to you we all generally sense that the negative energy and emotion and we, you know this is not a new concept in the truth community we've been talking about for three or four years something here is feeding from that because there's no reason to do the you know you're getting very sleepy and put people masses of people into a state um, and to get you to be terrified of this and here comes murder hornets and here comes a conflict with Iran and here comes a conflict with North Korea and here comes a conflict with Russia and here comes a new disease and here comes the terror bring the terrorism back in the merry-go round see if you can grab that that ring that brass ring terrorism oh I missed it Mohammed Atta went by I mean just they just recycle the same well why do they do because they want of course you know everybody here knows this they want a certain frequency and energy to radiate out into the ether that something feeds upon we've known this in the truth community whether you we all have different theories on how it works so you're going to make a truth video where you just you just basically scream and throw f-bombs and and c-words and just nasty nasty uh language and a hate and a bubbling out of hate um at at certain specific controllers and you're not going to know that that's exactly what they would want us to do I mean it's exact like it's not that much different than a 
a certain militia group says, I've had enough, and they're going to march on whatever, and they're going to take over a capital bill. It's exactly what they would. They don't fear that. They, they try to create that situation. It's exactly what they would want. I mean, we, we've been talking about this for five years almost. If they try to get you in, you observe it. What state are they trying to get you in? Then if you put yourself in that state, oh, I'm doing exactly what you want, George Bush, or whatever creature name you want to insert. So you, you oh, what's it trying to get me to do? Oh, well, it's pretty simple. Then I'll just, I'll do the opposite. I'll observe the assholes. I'll study the assholes. So what do they want me to do? What's the trick? Oh, I see the trick. Oh, okay. Um, what does that mean about reality itself? Part two. Oh, there's a lot of weird shit going on that we probably will never understand. Oh, what does that mean about who I am? Oh, shit. If they're trying to get energy out of me. I'm, I'm an energy factory. That 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 means I'm, a, I'm an aspect of something that's always has been, always will be. I'm a bad mother effer. You know, you can always do the three. But what does Max do? Come on. So either, so either. Look, if 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 Max is, um, you know, completely on our side and always was, um, you know, and and God, he go, he's either going about things the wrong way, the absolute worst way, playing into exactly what they would want, or he's he's a farm that's not on our side. And I watched Glenn Beck for years. Tremendous truth came out of it, but it was there to keep you in a certain pen to keep you from going on to another place. And he might not even be, he might be a farm, but he might not even be in on it. He might not even be aware of how he's keeping people into a certain place or a certain pen. And if a lot of farmers aren't in on it, somebody high level like Alex Jones or Glenn Beck absolutely know their role, no doubt about it. But um, tremendous truth. But just, just keeps you away from the paths that really lead to a spiritual knowing of yourself and the, the things they really don't want you to know. Alex Jones, same way. <laughs> you know, all that, oh, let's get, you know, rile you up. <laughs> you know, <coughs> that's, um, that's what his role is. He gives you, he'll talk about the Fed. And there's, there's so much truth and people will go about the channel that I'm talking about. So much truth has come out. I agree. I agree. And the way presented and how false governments are and uh how i mean uh, the 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 very eloquent speeches over the years but i don't know in terms of some of the the, some of the places we're going now about everything relating back to your role in this reality and and your connections to spiritual self which is the the only finding that place is the only thing that's important so were his speeches were mostly about things being real here governments this and that and governments this and then you know it yeah it's presenting kind of the right way of viewing governments but it's still providing legitimacy to government even the the the, the notion of 1776 and, and assuming every founding father was completely real and everybody was just trying to start a new uh new way of 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 self-governance rule by and for the people um, even if they were all altruistic individuals that just wanted to break away from England, that whole story, assuming is real, for example, they still, in my opinion, were played because they. If and this, I don't think it's. I think you know. I think a lot of it's a fairy tale for anybody new, and I think, I think a lot of these people. Were, I think they're real, but I think the key players knew exactly what was going on and knew their role here to bring their mystery Babylon into North America and to have this thing called the United States sprout so it could become it it's you know part of the three-legged stool over their thousand year plans how they do business but just assuming it's all real they were played because you know the people that really had the ancient knowledge say studying it from certain societies and London and the minion level carrying their ancient knowledge observing oh let, let let's let them do what they're going to do in um you know they're in philadelphia right now let's let we'll, we'll even fight a war against them make it look legitimate let them do what they're going to do because you see they're they're, at, you, they're setting up the infrastructure to create the most massive government entity the world has ever seen it, with that will go along with the largest military the world has ever seen let them succeed see that so they they 
and and even if they couldn't the the people that carry the ancient knowledge and and incarnate differently than you do not from being completely blind that have a degree of knowledge or a degree of past lives or at least have access to the bottom of the Vatican library there's shit there that you can't check out you can't check out you, you know some uh, um, Anthony uh, there used to be some Cardinal Anthony Bevelock or whatever I think he died he was in Philly he, he, Philly finally got a Cardinal 30 years ago he could go he, he's a big shot he, go go see if he could check stuff out of the Vatican library oh they'd turn him away like a, somebody some girl trying to sell rotten thin mints they'd turn his ass away he couldn't nobody can check that shit out you got to be in a certain they say only the Pope and one or the Pope's of, no 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 there, there's a few others that can check shit out in my opinion, of the bottom of the Vatican Library, but they have a they have a knowledge of uh, and of and so even if they they could probably predict what America could become would become and then they would use it let them do it and then we'll use it, but it, I mean to me it, it was all a scam to begin with but I'm just saying even if it was for a brief period of time legitimate they potentially would have then my my default would be they let it happen and then and then they would hijack it and use it. But either way, you come to the exact same place. So, and even if even not, they have ways to see certain things. Um, their astrology, um, people roll their eyes at that. But you have a control structure that does everything by the stars. They don't set a cornerstone on a building without a constellation being in the proper place. But they're just they're just a bunch of idiots that read the back of the horoscopes and they don't that's just kids stuff no if if the, every bit of control structure in this world plans their life around the stars I, i'm just it's just a hunch there's probably something to it that's just me i you know i just say there's probably something to it and the reason they put it as a horoscope and the, on power 99 in philadelphia I used to listen in, um as a kid uh, in high school there was this uh horace the taurus would <laughs> come on horace the taurus would give the horoscopes, I think, every Friday. Hey, baby Bubba, the horse, the t- and it, they'd always make astrology into a ridiculous thing. I mean, they, they, if this, if, the, but, but this, again, it gives, they give it, they give themselves away. If the entire control structure is making it look ridiculous, then you can say, well, that's legitimate. And what they make really, really legitimate is likely ridiculous. Everything is backwards and inverted. It's that, it's that simple. And um, I was, you know, watching more of, uh, I think it's L.C. King's videos about the galvanic cell and how the whole, the sun and the moon work together with the earth as a salt bridge. And um, it's just a gigantic battery, how the, the, the moon and the sun actually work together. And, um, you know, the notion that, I've, you know, I'm straying a little bit. I'll get back to what I was talking about. Um, you know, the, the moon is this uh, thing that, these idiots can go land on <laughs> and um, the sun is 94 million miles away but during the eclipse they appear to be exactly the same size and a, one in a trillion coincidence I buy one in a trillion coincidences if they're the same size you know like Elsie King and I'll, I'm relating this to something he's right you know, it's the, they're, they simply are they're, they're two cats from the same litter that work together to accomplish something for this reality or this this realm and uh, excuse me and um it but that but that but but then you can relate that to the, the the duality of of this place where everything has a dual nature um alan watts you know uh, life implies death everything has its its opposite good and, and evil uh must exist together one can't stand on its own the, the ending scene in the movie legend the big if you haven't seen legend with tom cruise as a kid the even if you find the the beginning ridiculous, um, with the you know very eighth grade Dungeons and Dragons, the the demon character at the end is just it's one of the greatest evil characters in movie history, if not the greatest. It's incredible what they were able to do thirty years ago with that demon character. It's almost awesome if you watch it on a big screen. It's intim- It's 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 scary and it's it's just incredibly well done. Legend with Tom Cruise. Just skip forward, fast forward to the last 20 minutes if you just want to see the devil creature at the end. Most people have seen it. You know, he's about to be sucked back into the pit. You think he's, he's not the devil. He's just a demon creature because he says, Father, or whatever. He yells, that's the devil. And he's holding on with the unicorn at horn. He says, but, you know, he's, you need me. You know, you, you need the, the, the dark. So the point is, 
the whole realm set up that way, but it related back to L.C. King's battery, you know, the, the moon and the, the sun. and So the, the, the energy, the whole realm is created, the duality creates the energy, creates the energy. And, and that is what, and, and why a certain type of energy can be created, either a pure, loving energy or a very negative, really gross energy. And the whole world is set up with a certain structure and minion level to create the, the bad energy, the anger or the fear energy, the seven deadly sins energy. And then the, there's something that's benefiting from it or basically feeding off of it. So they'll get the, the whole duality of this realm is the is an energy galvanic cell for whatever is whatever's manipulating the energy to feed off of it so you get back to um our buddy max um who's just this person's ah, ah, see, ah, and just it's like alex jones but much more hate and alex jones would do it more like a caricature <gasps> you know it's like he, he never really got the sense that he really hated the people he's screaming about but you know, with with Max, you do get the sense that he he hates. And again, I'm sorry, Max, if you're, you know, if you're not, you're not in on it, then you're doing the the wrong thing. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna just I'm not gonna applaud you either way. But I had some I was a little bit skeptical, going back to the um, what happened in uh, Christ Church. Uh, that was uh, you know the event uh, that happened there. Um, in the country that is off the coast of Australia, New Zealand, something happened, um, I don't know, two years ago, maybe a little bit more. And his his take on that was odd, very, very odd. I mean, that to me, that event was a joke. It was an absolute joke. Um, you know, they said the movie Air Force One with Harrison Ford, which is really old now, like 25 years, was produced on a, on like a Mac like a real high-level Mac, you could almost, they were you could buy in a store. They were saying that's how great the graphics are. Or they basically did it on regular PC, regular computers. That was a big story about Air Force One with Harrison Ford, that you don't need the Cray supercomputers anymore that were necessary for Jurassic Park. So it, I think the, I, I mean, if if that was done, Air Force One or the special effect of of the plane crashing or whatever was done on a Mac, well, it looks like the event that I'm talking about was done on, you know, it's basically like a video game engine, like Grand Theft Auto. It was a joke to me. Not, it was, it was completely not real. So um, his take on that was odd. And then he, then I also, he said something about um, um, being invited to a TED Talk at one point, but then he c- couldn't go or he, he decided not to go. He didn't say, they didn't say they found out who he was and then they declined. He just said he was not going to be able to do it. Well, the first moment I was introduced to TED Talks, I became aware of them, I don't know, five years ago, something like that. I was like, this just reeks of the system. This is the system trying to completely push out its agenda. It's a platform for the system's agenda to get people to believe certain things and to get them to manifest certain things. Like, I'm sure I'm sure Ray Kurzweil was, had... Was, did his TED talk about chipping the brain or whatever. I'm, it's just, you know, and then everybody in the TED talk, um, they, they, they believe Ray's getting close to doing it, so then they breathe life into it. He wasn't close to doing it. That moron, all he could figure out was a keyboard from the, from the late 70s. He don't know shit about it. He just, he goes and gives his canned speeches and then he hopes he can get the audience to buy into it and breathe life into it. And, um, but I, I assure you, um, there won't be any TED Talk invitations coming here. Um, Mike at Sage of Quay won't get too many TED Talk invitations. Um, you know, just to different, you know what I'm saying? If you're legitimate, you don't get these invitations to do this and that. And so that was odd. And But anyway, but it doesn't matter. Maybe I'm, maybe, you know, I'm not in on anything. I'm wrong, but it doesn't matter. What, what he did, I uh, should have known better. You don't you don't study truth for twenty thirty years and then feed it exactly what it wants. And if you are get get angry, then you keep you turn your video off that day. Um, I'd love to get angry at it. I'm no wuss wimp. Trust me, I'd love to get to get angry at it. I wish that worked, 
really. I wish there was something, you know, physical. There is, but you, you, but you understand. We've known for years. This is what it wants. This is you don't play into its hand. Um, you, you observe what does it want from me? This is this is first grade truth. We we all need to. So you see a truther not following the steps. The steps are absolutely. There is no getting around these steps. I'm no genius. It's just obvious. What's the trick? What is it trying to get me to do? That's first level. And then, and then if you're lucky, you go to second level. What does that mean about the reality itself? Can you can you notice something? Like for example, with this thing that's going on now, the the the, the impossible level of coordination with every single media outlet saying the same thing. No one ever pushing back with any resistance. No alternative viewpoints about. You know, should we be wearing these these masks? And nothing. It's just everybody marching like a North Korean military parade to the same exact and almost worldwide. So what does that mean about reality itself? Well, that just that can't possibly happen in a normal world. There's just degrees of of, of mysticism uh, uh, at levels of evil, uh, phenomenon things going on here that we just won't ever understand. But as creepy as level two gets, and if level two gets in, impossibly creepy, inexplicable, that tells you more about yourself. You know, my biggest fear um, when I was, when I had a revel, revelation uh, down, when I was down in Long Beach Island, I was sitting around with the boys and girls that we had the house in Long Beach Island in 90... 93 or 4 and the revelation I had was that I was going to die my, my mortality just came upon me I've talked about it a few times I had you know obviously 20 something you just you, you, someone would say do you think you're going to die of course they would say 20 something would say of course everybody dies but you don't really I'd never take it home I took it home in one moment and what was terrifying is again I had no you know, to me, I was surrounded by certain atheists, and uh, this is it. Oh no! How much time do I have left before I just go to nothing? And um, you know, it was a terrifying thing because I had no religion. The bi- the biggest, the greatest thing that the truth pursuit uh, gives you, the greatest reason to do what we do, is not to to study what the Club of Rome is. It isn't well. You know there are, there are puppet masters at certain levels. Like, well, I don't. Who cares how how exactly they pull the strings? It's to notice what they do, why they do it, and what that tells you about yourself. And it tells you a whole lot about yourself, at, to a point where you can you can get very close to to the to. The, so I don't want to die or anything like that, but I'm getting very close to the point where it's like, well, it's a train. It's a train stop. Like, who cares? Who cares? I'd like to have, you know, 25 more uh, very nice years and do some things and, you know, like to see the pyramids and do a couple things. I don't, mostly I just feed my cats and I'm happy with that. But I don't want to die, but I don't, I'm not afraid of it anymore at all. I mean, it's natural to be in the avatar to be afraid of it. Um, but, but, I've, but in other words, I've come oh, hundreds of miles from that moment when I had that moment in my early 20s that I was going to die and I had nothing I had no religion I had no sense of myself and it was terrifying terrifying but then you do the, the you investigate truth and you're like oh this is just a train stop and it's a joke it's becoming a joke a comic book and um, so as the creepy the creepier and uglier things get the more actually that supports our our spiritual position about ourselves so it's ultimately in the end it's actually good news it's good news. And these asshole minions are here in this place to play the role. They're not, they don't, you know, I, I differentiate, I've said it many times, they're not, not loving us and they're not really, so, oh, I'm, we, I'm, it's tough love, like a, a mother would have to do a certain thing to a child and then to, to, to teach the child, then the mother goes off and cries about it. No, they don't, they don't cry about it. They're just put here to play the role to screw us over and we're put here to be screwed over. It's pretty much that simple. So if you're going to get screwed over, your job is to learn from it, <laughs> not to try to fight it or to go to do to, to try to. Uh, so this this Q stuff is this um, victim mentality, and they'll be a savior. And the Lionel Nation, that little wimp, um, came out. What did he say? Probably three years ago. He says, 
We're just weeks away from being free. The Q is going to free us up. And there's still even people that pop into this channel from time to time talking about sealed indictment. What's sealed? What are you talking about? Idiots? Sealed indictment? What? At this point, they'd either all be arrested or not. I mean, what are you talking They're just waiting for Donald Trump to make his move. What? Then the day before he the day before he, he, he leaves office? What are you talking What? Get a clue. Anyway, see, I'm not, I'm just doing it in a joking fashion. I'm not like, I'm not Max, like, Venom hating these people. I'm just kind of laughing about it. Hi, Zara. What do you think, sweetie? What do you think? Um, anyway, guys, so, so I should have done this way earlier, but it's still worth doing just to emphasize the uh, reason I'm making this video. So remember the picture in picture coming in, George Bush giving the speech, and then Betty Hill's face came up. You want to laugh? I mean, and you, you want, it's just a perfect representation or imagery on, on just, just cementing in that this is not what we should be doing. So play, um, in your mind, play Vanessa VA's video talking about uh, the, the frequencies, the, the short frequencies of the love emotion activating the DNA, the love emotion, the resonation of love energies activating. Uh, certain types of DNA that they call junk and she'll talk about trying to squash the frequency of fear very um, professional calm way of explaining it so you're you're watching this video and then pop in um, Max's face into your picture in picture and he's like the prime as she's giving this beautiful um, video about the the right heart energies and heart entrainment and this is the way we need to move as a community pop in max's face the prime minister of australia is a c <laughs> the the deputy minister of australia is an f i mean just you see it's like it's so yeah you can you, if you picture it something so ugly on top of something so beautiful it gives itself away you know as, like like we needed that exercise to to know that, but that was something I kind of laughed about. Like you put him put him in a picture in picture box into something beautiful, and it's like ooh. But I just wanted to put that mental imagery out, guys, to close this video. Thanks for watching.